The student government at Texas State has voted 45 to 3 to have the University Police Department implement a policy known as Cite and Release. The state legislature in 2007 approved a law allowing localities to decide for themselves whether to adopt Cite and Release. If implemented, it would mean that people caught with small amounts of marijuana, along with several other minor offenses, would only be cited rather than taken to jail. In the end, suspects would face the same punishment, but the initial pre-conviction jail time would be removed. Proponents of the change say it would save valuable resources because police officers would not have to transport nonviolent marijuana offenders to jail. Texas State Normal President and ASG Senator Kevin Kutras authored the bill. As far as I'm concerned, it's a very good, very effective program. And UPD, our campus police, they're the only ones in Hayes County that don't implement it. So just trying to get them on board and, you know, kind of stop being the black sheep, the odd man out. There's really no reason for it. Besides normal, Texas State Young Americans for Liberty backed the bill. Young Americans for Liberty collected hundreds of signatures from students. The group's president, Dustin Brennan, says implementing sight and release would free officers to deal with more serious crimes. If something actually did happen and it took, you know, two hours to book this kid, and that one cop could have been there if he just issued a ticket. University Police Department spokesperson Sue Stewart says having a site and release policy doesn't free up as many resources as some people think. We still have to do our paperwork, we still have to do our report. Um, the only thing it would prevent us from doing is taking someone to, to jail. The student government does not have the final say in implementing the policy. It must be approved by university officials for it to be enforced. ASG Chief of Staff Vanessa Cortez says that it's important for officials to listen to what the students want. We are the representatives of the student body and what we say and what we pass should have um, a remarkable influence on what the administration does and so I hope that they will make the decision that the student body wants. Vice President of Student Affairs Joanne Smith says she will make the final decision and will give consideration to the ASG proposal. But Brennan and Kutras say they're concerned that the students' wishes will not be seriously considered. If, if they got behind it and their senators are behind it and they passed by that overwhelming margin and the administration is willing to just say, well, we want to go with our own ideas and not the students, you know, that's, you know, the, then the ASG is a farce and we should dismantle it. Vice President Smith says she has not received the ASG paperwork for site and release and cannot comment on what action she will take. Except for UPD. The law enforcement agencies in Hayes County follow the site and release procedure. With the representatives of the student body voting nearly unanimously to pass the site and release legislation, it is now up to university officials to abide by the will of the people. For Bobcat Update, I'm Matt Wood. Many students live off campus, or they would like to soon. That means they'll have to sign apartment leases and enter an agreement that is legally binding. Sometimes the students are charged excessive fees. Occasionally, they're scammed. That's when the campus attorney's office can help. Attorneys who work in the office can provide free legal advice. Probably the primary thing that students come in for are landlord-tenant issues, renting, leasing. Um, the world of renting has changed tremendously just in the last five years. Students are advised on the appropriate steps to take to win their case. The staff consists of three attorneys who can help in criminal matters, labor law, and landlord-tenant disputes. If they want to represent themselves in court on, a, say, a minor traffic offense, then we'll guide them through what the process is, what to expect from the prosecutor, uh, what's going to happen when they show up to court, how to argue their case, but they, they do that themselves. The campus attorneys are not allowed to represent students in court. Their office is located on the fifth floor of the LBJ Student Center. Students seeking legal help must schedule an appointment. If you plan on living in an apartment next year, you might want to check out the Attorney for Students office. Avoid the hassle of dealing with apartment scams. For Bobcat Update, I'm Christina Tafoya. A statue donated by Will and Sally Whitliff now stands in front of Old Main. It represents a vaquero cowboy inspired by a part of Bill's collection that can be viewed at the Alcag Library. At the front of the statue is a poem written by Bill. The Whitliffs are already known for Texas, at Texas State for their extensive collections at the library. First bank robbery in San Marcos since 2011 occurred Monday morning at Pioneer Bank. Police are searching for the suspect. 
Pioneer Bank is located in the center of the Wonderworld Medical Plaza. The man was armed with a handgun and demanded money from the teller. No one was hurt, but the suspect got away with an undisclosed amount of money. The suspect was described as a six foot tall white male and wearing a black hoodie and jeans. If you have any information about the robbery, please call the San Marcos Police Department.